welcome back to Britain's worst run football club. Uh, kind of back to reality uh, in the last episode. Uh, if you haven't already, go back and watch it. Uh, but spoiler alert, uh, we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup uh, on penalties. Uh, and then we played Watford and uh, lost to them. However, we did kind of bounce back with a 3-0 hammering of Wigan. Um, a few games uh, to run through still. So we've got Rotherham, uh, Norwich, who are top of, uh, currently, uh, and Preston as well, who are, where are they in the table? Well, they're rock bottom, so that'll be very interesting to have a look at. Um, we did manage to get uh, Troy Deeney to get a couple of goals uh, in the last game, uh, but striker's kind of where we need our, um, our attentions to be uh, kind of put towards. Lewis Crabbe on the free, I don't think is what we need, but you know what, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll bring a trial in for him. I wonder if our director of football can recommend any strikers that are out there uh, for transfer. Again, the um, getting a work permit might be uh, an issue for some of these. I think Scotland might not be a, a bad shout, although we did uh, get Cosgrove from uh, from Scotland, and that didn't turn out fantastically well. Uh, Motherwell. I think striker-wise, I'm, I'm not really sure what I am after, but the, the best, the best that we can. Even looking at a, a team uh, of the caliber of of a Rangers, I don't think even any of those will be within our prize range, so to say. Uh, Ross County, I love them as a team, uh, but nothing there to kind of bring in. Stevie May, he used to be he used to be okay, not anymore. Uh, Saint Mirren, then no one's jumping out straight away of uh, of who to get in. Uh, Aberdeen, have you got anyone, anyone decent? Anyone within our price range? Bojan Malovsky, no Marley Watkins? No. So that was a uh, fruitless uh, to have a look over there. We didn't look a lot. See, Graban, he wants to come to us instead of Stoke. We'll, we'll just assess this how he is. Three stars, three stars. No, he's, he's not going uh, to have to do the business ahead of Troy, I don't think. Even though he's a year younger as well. Uh, Rotherham got Hugo up front. Very good player. Uh, that's a that's a steal that is 250k. I wonder if Norwich have got anyone. We've already had a look at Norwich. We'll uh, we'll go back. I'm, I'm fleeting backwards and forwards. Um, Rotherham, our next game coming up. Sunich is on target. Duke's doing a training course. We, we've got to keep him around. He's, he's going to stay with us forever, I think. If, if he wants to. It looks like there's some random, random coach and staff that have been signed uh, for the club. Now we are kind of hitting our limit of having, uh, I think it's five uh, lone players in the squad. There's no one that is probably going to jump out uh, to have kind of on loan anywhere else. Elanga will be on a free. Potential. It was a squad player. I mean, it is, it is a striker that we do require. But if there is anyone else that can kind of come in and do the business for us, then I'll be more than happy to uh, have a look. I think we did have a look at at Arsenal before, and I don't think there's anyone kind of there that would that would jump out for us. Uh, Man City, they don't seem to have any strikers either. Uh, Chelsea might be the one. Maybe Broha, but he's on way too much money. He's not going to even want to drop down to us. There you go. Low quality of players. I don't don't blame him. Uh, that trophy for Farna. Again, no point. No point even looking. And yeah, that's probably a. Uh, our limit there. We'll we'll go back around and we'll just see if, if we can get anyone in our scouting recommendations uh, to come in. Okay. 
The game's just rubbing it in then, the fact that we're not in the Carabao Club Cup, and it is showing it. So, a Langer offer has been accepted. Uh, Cosgrove, he isn't playing there. We can recall him. 20 grand? He's not on 20 grand a week. Don't believe that. No. They're paying four thousand a week. On a twenty grand contract. Just, mm. Well, he's unhappy. But do we just recall? You know what? We will recall and we'll look to sell. Um, look to sell in the uh, in the transfer window before it shuts. Seen someone there for Middlesbrough. Rodrigo Muniz. Cameron Archer, I think it's from Aston Villa, isn't he? Yeah, he's uh, looking at a lot there. Tuba Akpom. I used to really like Tuba Akpom. Would he be interested? We'll make an offer though, we'll make a cheeky offer. We'll offer him what his value is at the minute. Uh, we'll just see if anything happens. Deadline day meeting. We will we will attend this meeting. I don't normally attend the meetings, but we will we'll have a look at this. Uh Harley Dean. What's this for? First of all, here are the players' contracts about to expire in the next 12 months or have already expired. Harley, we need you to go, mate. Need you to leave us. Jordan Graham's wanted on loan. Those Josh, Josh Williams wanted by transfer by Swansea. But everyone else, I mean, George Friend, you could drive around the club. I've done this quite a few times when I played football manager. I've just gutted, uh, gutted the uh, the teams, but. Sometimes you need your hierarchy of your players in there as well. So, India Bakuna, recap all the players looking. We're looking to offer for transfer, although it's affected. Uh, we're not looking to get rid of Bakuna, so please don't leave. Oh, that's due to the squad planner. Well, no one's paying attention to that. I mean, Etheridge as well. You can, you can just leave. We'll offer you for that. No one's going to break come in for that, but we will offer you out. Uh, and everyone else is fine. Recommendations. Again, another striker. No one here is bitting the bill. A Preston at the bottom, so we wouldn't really want to be taking anyone from Preston. Uh, other recommendations. Alejandro Roscoe. Would we get a work permit? I, I'm not confident that we would. That was a quite a quick meeting to go through. But very looking forward to a, a transfer window coming to a close and seeing what we can do. Obviously, we did get Ellie Sims. In on loan and yeah. Uh, Akpom was rejected, that's fine. Etheridge's wage demands. <laughs> How about... What, what's Etheridge on? 21. We will offer him out to clubs. For free. If they... And we'll, we'll pay half his wages. Even then, we, we're kind of saving... Like, how many? 10,000 10, a week. And we'll do the same with Harley Dean as well. We'll pay half his wages. Just attempt anyone in. Akpom, too expensive. See you later, mate. Search continues for our striker. Ben House at Lincoln. Doubtful. Decent League One. That's not... Not anything, is it, that? They're linking the bottom of the bottom of the league, so they're not going to have anyone of any interest really that would uh, 
walk into our team. And yeah, no one for Dean, no one for uh, Everidge. Looks like they're staying with us. Maybe we can offer them out for loan. Again, I'm not expecting anything from this. But I don't see him playing the game. I think John Ruddy's is our number one uh, goalkeeper. I don't see that changing at any point. Uh, we'll bring Kadra on to start instead of Hannibal. Hannibal's a bit not under the weather, but he's a uh, he is kind of struggling. We will bring on a Cosgrave onto the bench though. Um, do need to register him for that as well. So we're still within our limit here, which is good. Everyone else is looking fine. But D needs to start. But we'll give Cosgrove a go, see how he gets on. Now defence, Rusty is not, not having the best of games. He's still sort of a good rating. We'll we'll give him one more game. If he makes any kind of major errors, then we will uh, look to drop uh, for the next game. Sam Grove comes in at his favourite number 32. He keeps saying about how it's his favourite number, so we'll we'll oblige and we'll we'll give him what he wants. Tell the team to carry on from the last match against Rotherham. See Wes Hardinger would be interested in bringing it back to Birmingham City. The first highlight the Blues. Colan into Chong, gives it to Bielik. Back to Colan, into Bielik. Can he get the ball in? Gives it to James. Can he get the ball in? No. To Sanderson. Intricate pass, too intricate, and Rotherham clear it away. Trusty at the back. Hodges up nicely. Into Bielik, into James. Back to Sanderson. It looks like they're kind of ready to hit us on the counter here. Kadra, nice ball out to Longello on the wing. Longello goes into the box, then comes out again. I think he got scared. Can he get a cross in? He gives it into James. Can James get a cross in? Nice ball to Kadra. Bit of a tame shot. Uh, and Johansson kind of picks it up quite easily there. Their formation, what they're going to go with. So it's a 4 1 2 2 3. There. 4 3 3 with a defence midfielder. Kadra on the left. Into James. James out to Beely. Into Kadra. Nice pass in. Wes Harding comes in and just completely. Dominates the ball there. Uh, Langello out to Sanderson. Sanderson gives it to Bielik. He's caught by Hugel there. We are a bit exposed up front. We've kind of committed ourselves a bit too much. Hugel, great ball to Fosu. That might be a goal. Ruddy saved it. Langello's cleared it out. Trusted the process. Has headed it clear. Into Bakuna, who is picked by a fur yard. Or killed. And uh, we kind of get away with it there. Right, Hugel heads it on. Sanderson brings it into Colan. Colan to Kadra. They kind of switch wings there, which is nice to see. Kadra out to James. James into Bakuna. Angelo on the overlap. And he's put it into Chong. Is that a penalty? It's given as a penalty. They need to take. Got 100% record so far. Such wood. And he's hit it right at the keeper. That's a very poor penalty. Very poor penalty indeed. Oh, God, on technology is in play. Not sure what it's showing. <laughs> no idea, football manager. I don't know what that was. Right, Chong. From distance. I don't think he's going to shoot. But I think he is. Oh, hit it there, Chong. Hit it there. Hit it there. Johansson has just tipped it across. Wow, wow, wow. 
wrong is our set piece specialist there, I reckon. Uh, Kadra to cross the ball in. I mean, trust is there. Can you get it on his head? Can't. Hugo heads it clear. Uh, Bakuna picks it up outside, but then Wiles stops the uh, the interception there. So now we have been kind of the dominant team. Missing the penalty is going to be a massive blow for us. Uh, Dini into Chong, Chong to Kadra. Kadra's got the overlap there of Colan and Dini ahead of him. He gives it to Dini. Dini's kind of one on one here. He's a bit slow. He's hit it and it, it's just spooned it over. He's not having a good game here. We need to kind of wait to, to give him a shout. He needs to. He needs to do a lot more. And I can see Cosgrove coming on at half time, just to see if he's the answer to our striking needs. But Lindsay hits it long. Colan heads it out to Trusty. Trusty into James. James turns on a sixpence, gives it to Kadra, gives it to Dini. Dini out to Langello. Chong's in the middle there. Langello's running on his own. What's he going to do? Can he cross it? He does. Kadra's there. That's a tame effort and it has gone in. We do get the lead here. And Kadra on his first start. Lovely. Look at that dance. Look at Wonderful. Good hold up play by Dini. Gives it out to Langello. Langello runs to the barn line. Kind of crosses deflected back to Kadra. And he kind of just sweeps it into an open goal. Great start. Exactly what we wanted. So Colan into Chong. Chong back to Colan. Lindsay picks it up though for Rotherham. He's picked by Colan. Colan into Kadra. Kadra to James. What's James going to do? He's going to lose it to Coventry. Bossu hits it down to Hugo. Trusty comes across and then kind of changes his mind. Hugo's allowed to run down the byline. Back to Fossu who hits it across. Sanderson wins the head, but it is picked up by Wes Harding. And Rotherham kind of storm forward here. Wes Harding using his athleticism down the right. Crosses it in. Sanderson gets lucky with that clearance there. And Trusty saves him at the back post. Back post saves him in the uh, six yard box. But it's cleared off to Kadra, who chases it down. And it does go out of play. <sighs> breathless, breathless stuff. Sanderson now, another highlight. Gives it to Longello, gives it to James, into Kadra, he's headed it and he's gone in. Oh, how embarrassing for their goalie. Like, Kadra's having a, wonder, a wonderful game here, but... Is that Johansson? Johansson, he's made a couple of fantastic stops. But that's a very poor, poor goal to concede. James, that searching ball to Kadra, I don't know what that header is, but I don't even know what that goalkeeping is either. 2-0. That should... Put us in control. Longello throws it in to Bakuna. Back to Longello. Longello turns into James. What can James do? He can get fouled. But he's not fouled. Colin picks it up on the outside of the box. Out to Bielik. He crosses it into Dini. And he's hit the crossbar. He's not having a good game, Dini. He's not having a good game. Where's Harding it on the right? Of Bene. He hits it long. But it is going to go to Fosu. I thought that Colin would intercept it here. Two minutes of added time. It's I'm gonna lose my lose my voice with all this commentating that's going on. <sighs> the dodge the half, so we've had eight shots, five on target, 1.56 xg, four corners, six fouls, two yellow cards, 90% pass completion, and 59% possession. Two goals to the good. Dean is not having a good game though, so we will try to drag him off. Um, we're heading scoreboard. Deserve to be given. Not pleased. Uh, good first half. I'd like to see well done. If to stay focused, don't allow, allow complacency to creep in. So, Longello's not like that. Nor is Jordan James. And nor is Kadra. In confused and demotivated. Okay. Dini, you will be coming off for Cosgrove. Not sure what your best kind of position is going to be. It is a target forward on support. So we'll leave that. Jordan James as well. We'll put Joe Bellingham on and we'll drop Chong down to the uh, Roman playmaker position. We'll just give them a swap around and see what Chong can do uh, from the middle of the pitch.
I mean, I don't expect anything from Cosgrove. I'm so surprised he's on 20,000 a week. That's ridiculous. I doubt in real life that's what he's on, but it's what the game's saying, so we'll go with that. Uh, Kyle has picked up a book in. So we can see Williams coming on soon. Cosgrove in the middle there, gives it back to Chong. Four balls to Colin, but colin has got away with it to Bakuna. Back to Trusty. Long ball up to Cosgrove. He heads it back to Beely. Gives it to Colin. Cosgrove in the middle. I'm hoping for something here, Cosgrove. He is really fluff that. It's been blocked. It has been blocked. But it's nice to see him getting involved straight away though. Hadri with the corner. Crosses in. Hugo heads it clear. He reminds me kind of like a, a Djokovic type of player, Hugo, who's there. He's getting on the end of kind of a load of defensive headers, which is what kind of Duke does really well for Blues. I mean, we're not going to take Kadra off. We may take Bakuna off potentially, but we'll we'll go as we are. I mean, Norwich are completely annihilated in Sunderland there, so that's not not good. Bielik is looking a bit tired here, so we will bring him off for Gary Gardner with 10 minutes to go, 15 minutes to go. So Bellingham is kind of dispossessed quite easily in the middle of the field there. Bramall's got it on the left. Williams picks it up instead of Fosu, but what's his pass going to be here? He has just launched it clear. I'm not happy with that. This should be quite... Quite more of a shorter passing technique, and Job is throwing himself in there. No, it's not great. It's not great, but Ruddy, composure, calm hands at the back. He uh, picks up quite nicely. Out to Long, out to Sanderson. What have I just seen? What have I just seen? That's very, very unusual. Long across to Sanderson. I mean, it's a poor ball. No words. No words for that. We will proceed with the tactical changes. And Rotherham are going to come forward now. Just over the bar. They always say 2 0 is kind of the most. Uh, Unpredictable of score lines. The next goal, you go 3 0 up and you're in charge of the game. If you concede, the, uh, the team that just scored will have all the momentum. Four minutes of added time. We're into that now. Kadra hits it long off the post, and what am I to know, eh? What am I talking about? 3 1, long with his second goal of the, uh, of the season so far. Another little dancing celebration. I love that. We had Kadra with his. Uh, with his Irish dance, and now along with probably an Irish dance as well, because he is Irish. But uh, lovely, lovely stuff. Kadra, man of the match. Good performance. It could have gone a little bit, a bit hairy at the end there with uh, the goal by Rotherham. But it was an excellent win. Pulled the guys up. We've only lost one uh, so far this season. And a team that were kind of relegation favourites. I think we're doing quite well. Okay, so apparently uh, League 1 and League 2 think that we're a charity case because they've offered no wages for, for Harley Dean, so we'll reject them. I want a permanent deal for Kadra. Would be nice, but we do not have 11 million in the bank. So. James is quality as well. That Twitter user is very correct. So, big game coming up now. Don't think that we're going to get much from uh, from the Norwich game. But we'll, we'll play as we have been playing all season. I'm not really going to change it up just yet. I mean, we're, we're unlucky against Watford 
but to lose. Oh, Ooh. Birmingham in takeover talks. Debt ridden Birmingham City. As I said, probably the worst run club in Britain. Debt ridden Birmingham City have now begun the process of appointing a new chairperson according to Sporting Life. The favourite for the job appears to be director Sam Sudin Hazic, who would face the daunting task of trying to clear the club's debt. Well, I don't know who this guy is, but all the power to him. So Joel Pirro has come up in our suggestions. I don't know where... I don't know where our guy's thinking that we can afford uh, the transfer fee for that. Did you not just see the, uh, the debt ridden part of that article just? I don't think, don't think they're reading there what they're sewing there. So against Norwich, I mean, it's what it is. We're not going to change how we're playing. All still injured, so we'll leave him there. Hannibal. And there's no, no one ready to drop off. One, two, four. Hannibal can come on for Gardner. Ellis Sims, is there anything about you? Can we can't terminate it? So we just gotta hope that at some point you will you will come good. Maybe maybe I wasn't wasn't too unhappy with Cosgrove, but 20 grand a week is absolutely ridiculous. We will look to move him on at the uh season's end. And we don't have a left back, so Colin's gonna go left back. Williams is gonna go right back. Friend Roberts. We'll bring on Roberts. Maybe we can do what Newcastle did with uh with Dan Burns and put him at that left back. The hands together. Make full use of home advantage. I don't know, I don't know what else to say to them. Who do I put it right back? That doesn't look normal to me. I thought I'd put Joshua Williams at right back. I'm a little bit worried. Who's our right back? I put Williams at right back. Ignore that. Look at Williams. He hits it long. Uh, Max Aaron's on the right hand side. Up to Marquinhos. Colin wins the header. Back to Aaron's. Three minutes in. I'm, I'm already fearing the worst here. Aiden, back to Aaron's. Use it into Marquinhos. Don't tackle him, Bailey. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Four minutes in, game over. <laughs> right, John Ruddy. What have you got for us against Timu Puki? Went the wrong way. Could be a long, long game, this. Eighth goal of the season already for Puki. This is our sixth game. We're going to skip that replay. No one wants to see it. Well, I don't anyway. Right, Joshua Williams on the right. What have we got? Into Kadra. Kadra using his pace. Runs into a bit of trouble. Back to Williams. Into Bielik. Bielik back to Trusty. Trusty to Sanderson. Out to Colan, that's nice. Bakuna's there, he's been a quiet last couple of games. Into Chong, Quan Chong, can you get it back? Is it the post? So close, so close by Chong. Gabriel Sara, I don't even know who Norwich have got. Probably Brazilian wonder kids. Grant Hanley, he seems to have been there for an absolute eternity, Grant Hanley does. Back with us, Chong crosses it in, Bakuna at the back post, beating him handily, he heads it clear. Gabriel Sara is able to kind of run free with it. Bielik tackles him, but Marquinhos on the right now charging down. I mean, Bielik has given away a penalty, there's no way he can keep up with Marquinhos. Who gives it into McLean. This is slightly, slightly concerning. We're going to drop to a balance, but I don't think it's going to work. I think they're going to score from this attack. And it is blocked out by, is that trusty? Let's box it out. It is trusty. 
going to drop down to a balance just to see. They seem to be hitting us quite hard on the counter attack, so. Saro crosses it in, Colin clears. There's too many mad men in the box. Marquinhos at the edge of the. Sanderson clears it out. And it's. Uh... Right, let's encourage them out of this. Gabriel Sara, that's such a pointless highlight. Look at Sara, here he is, gonna cross it in. Bielik heads it clear. James will chase this down, but it's out to Marquinhos. He's been on their main their main provider there. James, that's not a penalty. Get up. I'm a Bamadele, I believe that is a clean. Big ball across. Joshua Williams, that's a poor clearance. Maybe right back is a potential that we need to look at. Bielik is out, but it's up to Max Ahrens. This is just override, override. Sergeant, it's got him. Is that an own goal of trusty? Oh, right. We cannot cope with this power that that Norwich is showing. We might as well just go very attacking now. Well, attacking. I mean. It's just came cannoned off his head, hasn't it? 2 0 down to Norwich. Who's that next game? It needs to come quite quick. Right, Williams into Trusty. Into James. James hits it long. The Kuna's just not even going to chase that down. Max Aarons is allowed to clear it up to the right. Colin heads it to no one. I mean, this game is kind of showing. Our, uh, our squad depth isn't isn't great. Right, McCallum on the left. He's allowed to run down. Is that Bielik again that's trying to chase him down? No, it's Kadra. He is deflected inside. Trusty heads it out. Kadra's got it again. Josh Sargent wins the header. Into Williams. Into Trusty. Trusty the Santa. It's not Williams. In fact, it's not Trusty's fault. No, that own goal. That was unlucky. Right, Dini at, at the front. I'm a Bamadele. Heads it quite easily. We're gonna we're gonna change Dini to be a bit more of a uh, a pressing forward on attack, but Buki's got it back. McLean has run it in. Ruddy's just watched it. Fly over his bar. Now I'm a bit worried about throwing the water bottle here. We are dominating possession. Our pass completion's good, but there's just no shots on target, and that that's where we are. That's where we are at the minute. We are going to make like a bit of a tactical change here. Bielik, I've not been impressed with Bielik. I'm going to put James. Oh, he seems to enjoy that position. That's good. James and Chong. Bielik, we're going to take off uh, for... Apparently Mark Robertson play as a striker. Love that. Uh, Hogan and Cosgrove are going to come on. We'll have him as a target forward. And um, Hogan as pressing forward. And we'll see if that will kind of change change anything there. Who's having a bad game? Kadra's having a bad game, so we'll bring on Hannibal as well. It's a bit, bit of a drastic measures, but you know, there's nothing really that, that I can think of doing otherwise. Right, Chong's gonna cross it straight in. I'm a Babadele, head it out, Bakuna. Now that that's something that really kind of frustrates me on football manager. He had so much time to just bring the ball down and then move again. And is this a goal? No, it's not. Really saves it. And you you see like the just the pointless headers, and it's just so dangerous. Like you wouldn't do that in real life. Now I know it's a game, but you just wouldn't do it. Right, Norwich attacking again. Josh Williams is a is a bad, well, a bit of a torrid time on. At right back, let's be honest. Sergeant back to McLean. Gabriel Sara runs after it, but Sanson clears it out. Josh Williams rushes in on Sergeant, but he's still got the ball. He heads it, heads it back. Sanson clears it out. Hogan, can he get it? No, he can't. McCallum's there. We we'll drop back into a positive. This is just the Norwich show, isn't it? Williams clears it out. It's attack versus defence. Cosgrove heads it onto Hannibal at least. Now, Hogan's there, Hannibal's hit it. Well, 
Why? I don't know why he's done that. I'm not sure why he's done that. Again, we haven't done a single shot on target, and we've got two strikers up there now. So let's see if this can do anything. We'll bring Chung off for, uh, for Bellingham as well, and Bakuna can come off for Jordan Graham. Right, James, back to Trusty. Hannibal's offside. He's offside. Bakuna's missed it anyway. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Tim Crawl. It's very cruel on us. Uh, Gabriel Sara. It's just hit forward long by uh, by Grant Hanley. Uh, Trust is allowed to pick it up again. He's, he's just booted it up there. I mean, it's gone to Graham, but and he's booted up to Hogan. Give it to Cosgrove or shoot it. It's it's just poor. We need a striker. We need a striker. But Marquinhos has just kind of run the show for for Norwich here. Kalan on the left, cuts inside. Sergeant, fair play to him, he's picked it up. He's bossed that, that line there. Timo Puki chases down to Ruddy. Ruddy clears it out. Back to Gabriel Sara. Like, they're just dominating now. Lost here. Bellingham wins it back from Sergeant. He turns into trouble. He's. Oh, he's not doing well, is he? Not doing well. Three now. <laughs> oh god. I've seen that quite a few times though, like Bellingham just fuck like he's not confident on the ball. We don't want to see that again. But well, we've been very humbled here. At least when we lost to Watford it was only 1-0. This could be a 4-0. Uh trustees just hit it long. Graham's there. It's it's all just poor. A dozy on the left hand side. Into Sarah, into Hayden. We're too deep. That's a goal. Hannibal's just headed it back to the men. Oh my god, Hannibal, you pass in the wrong way. There's no one even to change. I don't want to see any more. There's been enough highlights. Well, that's our goal difference kind of spanked. I mean, Williams is, is having a bad game. He's had a bad game all day. To be fair, everyone has. And I think. A water bottle gesture is needed there. I don't care. We'll walk out. That's embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing. You want to discuss the club matters? Mate, you can get out of the club. He can leave the club. I don't think you're an influential player. Um... No, dismiss. I'm not going to apologise. You stop questioning my managerial ability. Still questioning it. Completely unacceptable needs to stop. Graham, you can leave our club. Do not have any insubordination in the ranks here. Chappy. And we have got Preston. As our next game. Longello was it was a big miss there. It was a big miss for us. Not for Sir Graham. Doesn't surprise me though. So Burton, Exeter and Cheltenham Town. Wick and Wanderers. Have you got anyone? For us to trade for Graham. Anyone at all? Anyone you want to swap? I mean, Burton Albion. I mean, these these are the, the quality of players that are that are interested in him, and it kind of says it all, really. 
Oh, these are the tops of teams, I should say. Exeter City, who have you got? Sam uh, Nombi? No. Go Rag? Definitely not. Again, looking at League One, he's never going to have uh, the greatest uh, for us here. Alfie May. Alfie May B. Charlie Brown, what a name. You know what, Alfie May. Are you interested? 120k, he wants 4 grand a week. Can't do that. We'll agree to the scale back. Great swap. Jordan Graham for Alfie May. What do you say? It's been rejected. 50k for Alfie May. I mean, am I being a bit, a bit drastic here? I don't know. He's just annoyed me. All right. I'm not sure where he even kind of competes with our players. I mean, Hogan's kind of the obvious one to do it with, so Alfie May's not too far off, really. Like, he's a, a little bit more attacking, but to be fair, everything else, it isn't great. We'll ignore that. We'll, uh, we'll just walk away from that. <laughs> Denmark and Norway, they normally have some good uh, good division players. Any strikers that want to do a job for us, please, please let me know. I mean, you're not smart. He looks like a happy chappy. Uh, any Anyone that's going to jump out? Anyone? How much was he on a week? 1.8k, is it? Not bad. Four Adams, I don't think you're gonna get a work permit, are you? Yeah, we're not happy with that. Well, no, we'll scout him, he looks very fast. Which I know that's not why you should sign players, but he looks very fast. And Mould. Mould are a very good footballing team. Even there, their players are a, a bit out of our league there in, in terms of uh, what we can sign. So Rosenborg, have they got anyone? No, I'm not even quite sure what I'm looking looking for to jump out at me here, but I'm not seeing it just yet. No, I know of one player of <laughs> one player. Let's see if he is in the game. Has he always been there? Oh, he has just moved there as well. Are you interested, Fred? Potentially he's interested. Now, if anyone is watching this that has watched me on Twitch, uh, Fred Friday is a is a hero in our in our Deportivo save. Not sure why I'm looking at him for this one. I know he's not going to get work permit, but you know, when you're desperate, anyone will do. And there's no one, no one kind of jumping out here, is there? Maybe Norway isn't the. Uh,
isn't the league it was uh, cracked up to be. Interesting Adams, we'll, we'll see how that goes. An interesting Friday as well. So they won an offer for Drew's Red Friday. We can't afford Friday. See you later Friday. It's a pipe dream that never happened. The transfer window closes tonight. Quite deadline day expected. Not for me. We are going to take part in this. I will. I will have to end it there. So uh, we will complete uh, the uh, the transfer deadline day on the next episode. Uh, hopefully see you there. Troy Dean is potentially going out to Stoke for half a million. Is he? We'll see. See you next time.